so today in civil 3d we will see like a cut and fill report how to generate so for that we need to input some surface and then we need to like uh, input another design surface for example we need to have one existing surface and also we need to have one design surface so based on these two surfaces we can able to compare and we can able to get cut and fill report so we will see how to do it in civil 3d now directly i am just going for create surface where we can able to name this as existing surface and we can able to change the style also but not needed click ok now here in definition we need to go for point group so point group left click add we need to select the point group here or you can just go to point file right click add here we can able to select the point file directly so click this plus icon and then you can able to find the folders So this is my existing uh, ground level, click open. So it should be like a CSV file where we can able to go for some format PNEZ, point number, northing, easting, elevation, description. So we can able to see the preview and then we can able to click OK. So now this is what the surface looks like. So I directly created surface and then directly inputting the point file. So we can able to easily generate the surface directly. And the same we need to do for right click create surface. And now I am just going to put as design surface. So click OK. Now here I am just going for point files, right click, add, again I am just going for plus and now we need to take the second file. So now this is what our design surface, again we need to choose the format. So pointing, northing, easting, elevation, raw description, everything matching, so click OK. Now totally we have two surfaces, one is existing surface, one is design surface. When you have two surfaces, we can able to compare and we can able to get cut and fill report. Now I am just going for analyze menu and where we can just go for volume dashboard. Here we need to click create new volume surface, this icon. And in that we can able to name as cut and fill and we need to select the base surface as existing surface, comparison surface as design surface and cut and fill factor by default it will be 1 and if you want you can able to change the style also. So for example I am just going for So elevation banding, click OK and render material also I am just changing. So this is my block. So click OK. See surface don't overlap it is telling. In that case like we need to like make it there. So one on top of another. So now I have two surfaces one top of the other. Now we can just go for volume dashboard. Now we can able to create the same. So existing surface comparison. So design surface click OK and elevation banding and then everything click OK. See now we are getting a 
see now we can able to move this somewhere and we can able to see the values so how much cut how much fill so based on our data we are getting lots of uh, cut fill only less so here we can able to see and the same if you want here for example you can just go this one right click surface property and where you can able to go for analysis and uh, elevation i am just going to have see this is like elevation we can just go for yeah number of ranges only two and i am just putting the color now what i am going to do means this i am just going to make zero and again this also zero and this i just going to make the color as like uh, green and then this we can just go for red which means cut and fill so first we need to go for red so red and the second one we need to go for green so apply okay so can you able to see like we have lots of cut only we have less fill so that's what here also it is showing see somewhere fill here and somewhere fill there this is what we are getting in this also so more red less green this is what the cut and fill report if you want to have the report you can just go for this icon insert cut and fill summary and you can click wherever you want for example here and then click ok see like this we can able to insert our cut and fill summary into our autocad civil 3d platform so where we can able to see the values how many cubic meter of cut how many cubic meter of fill how many net cubic meter everything and the same volume dashboard we can also just to go for generate cut and fill report so it will directly go to the html file see like this we can able to see our report so if you want now you can just save as a pdf also from here